Imagine a world where humanity has not only gained the ability to travel and populate space, but has progressed even further than that. Humanity can now control and navigate multiple universes. Welcome to one of the most advanced civilizations ever thought of, a Type 5 civilization. What is a Type 5 civilization? What would it mean for humanity? And how would we get to this point? Hey, before we jump into our next civilization, let's talk Raid Shadow Legends. It's a PvP PvE game with awesome graphics, and it's my go-to game when I'm not doing these videos. I have to say my favorite champion, Arbiter. Her speed aura and revive abilities, game changers. Now, if you're into boss battles, well, their Hydra event is a must-play. Two heads to watch out for. The Head of Suffering, which shares its damage with you, and the Head of Blight, which throws up a poison cloud that can derail your entire team if you're not careful. This turn-based MMORPG boasts over 700 unique champions. They've just introduced a metamorph mechanic, allowing champions to switch forms, so a damage-dealing knight can now turn into an angel of healing. Super cool, right? Log in seven times before October 23rd to snag a free legendary champion, Soon Wukong. And newbies downloading by October 7th can use the code JTSKIN for a top tier epic champion, Stag Knight, as well as his skin designed by John Tron himself. So what are you waiting for? Click the link or scan the QR code for a free starter pack with epic loot. See you on the battlefield. Okay, so before we get to our epic Type 5 civilization, we first need to start at zero. This is unfortunately where Earth is right now. A Type 0 civilization is one that's reliant on things like fossil fuels and still struggling with issues like climate change. Yeah, we've sent people to the moon and rovers to Mars, but we're far from interstellar travel, and although we have lots of technological advancements, we're still vulnerable to things like natural disasters and pandemics. So, although Earth is highly advanced in many ways, we still have a long way to go before we reach a Type 1 or 2 or 5 civilization. How do we get there? Well, before we get to that, what are these civilizations anyway, and who came up with them? It's known as the Kardashev Scale. Developed by Nikolai Kardashev in 1964, the scale categorizes a civilization according to its technological capabilities and energy consumption. Originally, the scale only involved Type 1, 2, and 3 civilizations, but it's since been expanded to include Type 4 and 5. Now, while Civilizations 4 and 5 are mostly speculative and theoretical, Civilizations 1 through 3 could happen someday. So, how could humans become a Type 5 civilization? Whoa, 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 not so fast. First, we need to get to a Type 1. There's no way a civilization can jump from a 0 all the way to 5. So, let's get started. Type 1 Civilization a Type 1 civilization would be a massive improvement from where we are now on Earth. As a Type 1, we could harness all the energy available to us on the planet. Imagine being able to harness the power of the oceans and the sun. Things like hurricanes and earthquakes would become minor inconveniences and all our energy would be renewable. Now, to get to this point, the main thing we'd need to focus on would be energy transition. Shifting from non-renewable to renewable energy sources would be the key priority, and it would need to be done at a global scale. Think entire deserts filled with solar panels, wind turbines covering the clouds, and ocean thermal energy conversion plants. Other scientific advancements would also be essential. Things like quantum computing and advanced AI would be key parts of helping us transition into this new civilization. But it's not just about the technology. We'd also need some sort of global governance to help unify the world to tackle these massive challenges. 
Experts think that this might happen in the next century or two. But we don't have time to wait that long, so let's fast forward and move on to the next type of civilization. We got four more to go. Type 2 Civilization This would be a massive leap on all fronts of energy and technological advancement. Being a Type 2 would mean that we'd be able to build extreme megastructures, like this Dyson Sphere. This would allow us to harness the power of the sun. And with that, our energy capability would be virtually limitless. We could innovate our way to incredible technological heights. Instead of being tethered to Earth, we now have the power to travel to new planets and start populating them. Mars, Venus, and other planets in our solar system would become our new homes. And overall, the solar system would become a utopia. With humans having this much power, we'd move beyond things like scarcity, war, and inequality. A unified galactic government would span across our star system. But it would take some hard work. Becoming a Type II civilization would require all of humanity's effort and span multiple generations. Type III Civilization You think harnessing the power of our Earth and Sun is epic? How about an entire galaxy? Well, that's what you can expect when transitioning to a Type III civilization. Things like black holes, billions of stars, and other celestial bodies would all be at humanity's disposal to harness and use. This could allow for wormhole travel. We could instantly travel to distant points in the galaxy. And if that wasn't enough, we'd also have the ability to terraform different planets however we please. I kind of want to ski on Venus. Type 4 Civilization Okay, now is where things get really crazy. A Type 4 civilization is beginning to reach a point beyond our current understanding of the universe and physics. So, naturally, there would be some weird aspects to this upgraded version of humanity. Being able to terraform planets and control celestial bodies was so last civilization. Now, we reshape, destroy, or create entire worlds. We would have unlimited power, having mastered the resources of the entire universe. Things like artificial intelligence would become so advanced by this point that they'd become part of the structure of the universe. With that, we'd be able to control virtually every aspect of everything. We could manipulate time and create different timelines, create new life forms and different kinds of matter. And on top of all that, in a Type 4 civilization, we'd be able to transcend biological limitations and achieve a form of immortality. Pretty crazy, right? Well, we're not even done yet. Type 5 Civilization Similar to a Type 4 civilization, a Type 5 civilization would be dealing with problems and obstacles that we can't even comprehend. But what we do know is that this civilization would be able to do virtually anything. The people, or whatever they would evolve to at this point, would essentially become gods. They could instantly create new universes with specific conditions that they could use to experiment with new life. They could effectively create their own simulations ones that are even more complex than the world we live in today. And the key difference would be that a Type 5 civilization would have access to and control of multiple universes. Yeah, instead of being limited to just one puny universe, we would now become a multiversal civilization. This means everything we could do in one universe, our control of energy and our access to resources, would now be multiplied across the entire multiverse. Now, what happens after that is almost incomprehensible. A Type 6 or 7 civilization may mean that humanity merges with the fabric of reality itself. We might go beyond our physical reality. 
And who knows what happens after that? But no doubt it'd be pretty crazy. Now, you know what might be even crazier? If we are living in a simulation right now. But that sounds like a story for another What If.